Oh, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be hitting a little push day with my good friend Lee. And uh, Solomon's on his way. He was actually uh, showing a house to a client because I don't know if you guys knew, but he's a realtor. He's 19 and he's already sold over $5 million in homes. He's crazy. Like, I'm trying to be like him, honestly. And I hope I don't get copyrighted because it's loud ass music. But like I said, we're gonna be hitting a, a little push day. What, what are you gonna work up to? 200. 200 pounds. That's a lot. That's like as much as I weigh, to be honest. That's a little more than I weigh, to be honest. Solomon's actually going for a PR. Maybe around 300, we'll see, but I uh, hope you enjoy this video. All right, so I don't know if you guys uh, have like a favorite bench in your gym, but I definitely do. I don't know, for some reason, I feel like I can hit heavier weight there. At Outland, uh, in gym one, it is the second bench from the entrance. So I'm gonna be waiting there. I'm gonna call next on that bench and uh, wait until it's open. So you do that one part do like band pull aparts, overhand, underhand. Like I'll just like do like rotator cuff work. These are definitely way too thick. She's just stronger than me. She's just stronger than me. Asian genetics. Yeah, this is this is in cardio. I like whipping myself with the band. I don't usually do this, but I played basketball yesterday. I'm all sore. I hope you got that. They're gonna be like in the comments. Hey, yo! Seriously, it doesn't breathe. Like, it takes one breath and that's it. You're fucking meaty ass trap, bro. What the? She looks like a swole pancake. Oh my god. Look at that face. <laughs> Tighten your, tie your back. Like I feel like I should have seen all that meat. Tighten yes, back. like that. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> all my friends know this, but this is the one exercise where I laugh while I lift. Like while I'm pushing weight, I just start laughing. Bro, it's been like two minutes and she's already making excuses. here I'm a little late but I had to show a house that's why it's okay I already I already explained to them who you were what you were doing if she hits oh, 200 I'm going home I'm canceling my membership like
strong and sexy? I know, thank you. We're getting closer to 200, don't worry guys. I can't tell if you're joking about the
Where's he going, bro? Bro ran away. <laughs> It's too light. It's too light. That shit was light. That was really fast, not gonna lie. That was better than 255. I thought that was like a warm up. Was that not a warm up? Alright, bro. Hey, she's on my tip right now. <laughs> she's on my tip right now. Was that a warm up? Um, Where did Chris go? I'm telling you, bro, he teleports. He literally teleports. If you just look down at your phone for one second, he is gone. Look! I'm telling you, bro, he teleports. That's all we need. That's all we need. My bad, bro. I couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear you. Lock it! You bet! Oh. You bet! That was not your heart! That was like... <laughs> you were like... Was it? I've never seen so close. I'm gonna poop. Everyone deserves a little break sometimes. This is one of the hardest workers I know, honestly. All aspects of life, from the gym, is work, everything. I strive to, I strive to, to, to be like her. Escape jail, as you can see. Yeah, yeah, it hurt my hand. Did you really? Yeah, you're squeezing me hard as shit. She's too strong for me.
Alright guys, here's the James English Club. Businessman. Hey, so we're gonna go get ramen now at, what is it called? Jinwa? Jinya! Jinya! Ramen bar! What was about to get me canceled? Alright, we're gonna see you at ramen! ramen I did not, I did not say that, I did not say that, I did not say that. I love every race of women. I don't know if you guys Bro, so we're, we're done playing ball and we all came to, to go eat at the ramen place. This man comes out of the, the boba place next door and he goes, aren't you like the weakest powerlifter? <laughs> Bro really came at me like that, goddamn. What do you gotta tell the world, man? This man is actually not the weakest power. Nah, not about me. Oh, what, is your, what is your message to the world, bro? Message? Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. You heard it here first, guys. All right, peace. All right, guys. So, as you can probably tell, basically everyone flaked. Well, you know I'm not a flake. And she gets, like, hungry, angry. So we had to come here. Jacob's here. I'm only drinking water. He just came for the homies. I'm broke, bro. I came, I was like hoping like Chris would pay me because uh, y'all be running up his codes like that, but like nah. Bro can't even afford me like an appetizer. You're probably gonna eat most of this because I didn't even know it was octopus. Solomon's on his way too. But yeah, I'm just, what is this? What is this? Takoyaki. Takoyaki. And uh, those are tacos. Huh? He, I told and then him we got, to order we got whatever ramen. I'll show you guys that when it comes and out. He, Let's just make a wish now, bro. Tell them what it is. That's a lychee teeny. No, that? Oh, the ramen. <laughs> Tonkatsu black. Yeah. And it's got two soy eggs because those are good. I had bok choy and it's thick noodles because I like thick noodles. You like what? <laughs> she likes what? They're better than the thin ones. Yeah. Bro, that's like the 10 sus thing she said this video. Alright guys, so I enjoyed being in Houston so much. I got this house. And uh, my editor, videographer, and my sister Olivia will be living in it. I'm sure some of y'all have seen the talk on Instagram or on TikTok that I was going to be moving here partially. I am going to be going back and forth to Florida. I met some great people here. I really thought that I wouldn't at first want to move to Houston because it's so oversaturated with people who already do what I do. Then after like spending some weeks here and just hanging out, I was kind of like, yeah, I can still do my own thing. If I wanted to like collab with some friends, I could also do that here. All right, so enough talking. I wanted to give you uh, the house tour of my new place. So let's go inside. Oh, I promise it was locked. I had already pre, I just walked in and like turned on all the lights and like, opened all the doors so I'd have an easier time showing you all. This is the office. A little office area. Nice little, you know. First bathroom. Bathroom. Oh, there's three in it. It's five bedrooms, three and a half bath. I wanted to have five bedrooms because uh, one bedroom is going to be the guest bedroom and the other extra bedroom is going to be like a I'm kind of going to make like a show like Good Mythical Morning. I don't know if you guys have seen that before, but if you have, it's going to be pretty dope. Over here is the garage, which currently has my fridge in it. I just stepped on a cricket and it literally blew up and exploded its guts on my fucking nice ass shoes. So that sucks. But um, this is where the washer and dryer is supposed to go. They should already be here, but I'm gonna have to contact the landlord tomorrow and ask why it's not here. This is like, I don't know, a fucking dining area. Probably take some sick pics there. It's like dark. This is my kitchen. Nice echo in here. This is my pantry. I'm gonna put some food, some snacks. I don't know why the cabinets here don't have fucking knobs. It's so annoying. But yeah, super high-tech microwave. Look at this thing. That's insane. Big ass microwave. It's like a TV. Um, is this gas? It's gas. Yeah, I never had one of these. This is gas. That is gas. Yeah, that's gas. That's that's gas. gas. <laughs> Dishwasher, um, sink, filtered water thingy. This is my room. Oh, wait, this is like technically the living room of downstairs. 
It's not very big because there's also a living room upstairs. There's only one bedroom on the bottom floor and it's my bedroom, which is the king. Here, you see it. It's pretty long, pretty spacious, interesting layout. It's not like boxy. This is my bathroom. You know, if I want to take a nice little bubble bath, I'm gonna have someone over, you know. Right here, the normal shower, the toilet over there. It goes deep in there, huh? And that's so weird because like someone can shower and then also someone can take a shit because like you know it's closed. Two sinks in case I have someone over. <laughs> uh, my big ass closet, which is great because I can put all my young LA shit in here. I have so much fucking clothes, it's insane. It's time for the upstairs. So this is like the upstairs living room area. I'll probably put a couch here, a TV there. That's a weird ass attic door. It's like a goblin lives in there and is locked. Bathroom number three, someone's room. Because this room has like that private bathroom, it's a little smaller in here, a little bigger than the last one. Closet. Then we have the last bathroom out of the three and a half. So three of them have like a shower and just one downstairs is a half. Room and room. Is that one bigger than this one? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, right? This, I guess during the day it's like lighted. There's like a... Yeah, that's wild. Do you see the, the mirror there? Window. It's a window, not a mirror. <laughs> Backyard. Pretty empty, but I got a fence. Beautiful. Back inside. Yeah, when we came here, it was unlocked. So like, bro, couldn't get more fuckers in here. Which is weird because there was there was toilet paper and soap already in my bathroom. So somebody was shit in here. Yeah, I can show the No one's gonna. If anyone comes here, I'll kill you. So don't. So this is my little cul-de-sac. These are my neighbors. They're all nice house houses. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little house tour and I hope that you guys are excited for the more Houston content that is to come. Thanks for watching this video and until next time, psh, goodbye.